Hello, Gucci's fam. How are you all doing today? Welcome back to my channel. If you are new to this platform, you are welcome. And you haven't missed so much already, okay? So all you need to do is subscribe, like this video, and leave me your lovely comments. And hit on that notification bell. So anytime we upload new videos on this platform, you'll be the first to get notified. Okay, subscription is free, so go ahead, subscribe before I start showing you what we have on this table today for today's recipe. Today we are making beans and yam porridge. Trust me, it is a very delicious delicacy. Yeah, it's an African recipe. Beans and yam porridge is one delicious combination that. If you haven't tried it, you need to run down to where they sell yam beans, buy those stuffs, get it done because it is very delicious. You can't miss out of it, right? Okay, so without wasting your time, let me show you what we have on the table for this special delicacy. Let's get right into it. So on my table, lovely ones, I have beans. You can go ahead and use black eyed peas or any beans of your choice. But this is how we do it back in Africa, okay? So here is yam. Yam beans are the star for this occasion, okay? So I have fish. This is homemade smoked fish. We'll be using this as well for this recipe. Next is my peppers. You can go ahead and, and skip any of this. I have ginger, I have garlic, I have white onion, I have red onion, and I have scotch bonnets. I have three scotch bonnets. Yeah, that's what I've been using. And then I have one green chili. And then I have some sweet peppers. Yeah, this is how I want to combine it. But basically all you need is just your onion and your pepper and your crayfish for this very recipe but I like to add other vegetables because I have them okay so you can just go ahead to use your crayfish your onion your maggi to season and then just your fresh pepper just one habanero pepper if that's what you you have that is fine all you need to do is just make it come out tasty for your family and friends to enjoy it okay we're using yeah palm kernel oil for this recipe you can use granite oil if that is what you want to use some people don't use red oil so if you like using red oil for uh for your food go ahead and if you like to use granite oil go ahead use any oil of your choice okay yeah so if there's anything on this table that you really don't want to use you can just go ahead and skip it like i told you all you need for this recipe like i remember how we used to do it back home all you just need is your yam your beans your onion your maggi to taste and then your crayfish and then if you don't want to put pepper that's fine for this food if you don't eat pepper that's fine okay but this is the basic for this very recipe you don't need to add any other thing this is just for those of out there who want to do this and you don't eat pepper skip it completely even if you don't like crayfish skip it completely some people don't eat crayfish i know some people who
who don't eat crayfish here yeah, when we go to parties they ask you do you have crayfish in this food in this food they don't eat crayfish so if you don't eat crayfish skip it if you're okay with the yam go ahead with the yam and the beans and then just season it to your taste and then you will enjoy it it's a very simple and quick recipe so without wasting your time let's wash our beans and put it right in the pot so i'm washing my beans guys i just want to show you for those of us who don't know how to wash your beans yeah wash your beans parboil your beans before you start cooking okay So we're going to pour the beans right into the pot. I have water going on already. So you want to add your beans. This is how we parboil our beans. So I'll let it cook for like 30 minutes here. Yeah. And then I'll, I'll rinse it off and then start cooking properly. So guys, yeah, I want to bleach the oil a little bit, guys. So I'll add the oil here and I'll let it bleach for a little bit so I can start making the sauce for my beans okay so i'm going to add all of this to the blender so i can go ahead and blend this into the oil yes. yeah to my pot i'm going to add my onion just for some one second already the oil is hot yeah so here you want to add your blended stuffs. Here you just want to make your sauce for the beans and the yam porridge. Yeah. So guys, you cover it for like just uh, two minutes. Let it steam a little bit and then you can go ahead and add your seasonings. Okay. So here I'm going to add my crayfish to this sauce. I allowed it to cook down for like two minutes yeah I want to have a taste and know if I if I have to put some salt you know crayfish used to have salt in it so you want to be careful and remember I have some fish this is homemade fish and it is nicely seasoned I'll go ahead and add the fish And then I'll add one Maggi. I told you this is a quick recipe. All I'm waiting for now is the beans to parboil well before I add the yam. So here I'll add a little of my salt. Okay. I'll close this up a little bit before I add my chopped onion. So I'm gonna wash these beans out right away. If you do your beans this way, guys, be sure that your beans will, you know, get cooked in in a minute. You don't have to soak your beans for hours. Just do it this way. Try this way anyway. You won't regret it. Yeah. Now I'm putting water on the fire so that I get. I get it started. I'm going to rinse it off again. Remember, beans is always um, preserved with some chemicals. So you want to parboil it. That is the best way you can get those chemicals out. Yeah, I promise you. I've done this for years and it's really good. You won't feel any heartburn. For so many people who eat beans and feel heartburn, if you cook your beans like halfway, rinse off that water i mean the chemical that was used to preserve the beans cook it out for like 30 20 minutes i do it like 30 minutes yeah i just do it 30 minutes and afterwards i add my beans to the pot and i start cooking proper you will never get heartburn or whatever kind of feeling you used to have when eat beans whatever awkward feelings you won't have it i promise you try this you will really like it okay I'll add this to the pot right away. We are cooking a huge pot of beans. So I'm going to add my yam like so. So everything will start 
getting to know each other. Yeah. We want to add some salt. Here you want to add your sliced onion. This will help it to cook faster. Okay guys, so just to give you this tip, whenever you're cooking yam or um, beans, beans especially, anytime you're making beans, try to slice some onion to your beans, especially when you, you know, want to enjoy your beans. It will give you a lovely taste. This is a tip. Two, it will make your beans get softened on time, right on time. So that is the tip I'm giving you today for this, uh, today's recipe, okay? Take note. Always add onion to your beans. It will give it a wonderful flavor and it will make it come tender quickly. Okay, guys. Our yam and beans is ready. Now I want to add my sauce. The sauce is ready. I'm just going to take some more. Yeah. See how delicious. Guys, you need to try this honestly. You will love it. You just need a little sauce for me. Somebody like me, I like sauce. I like to have sauce in my most of my food: rice, yam, beans. Yeah, that's why I went ahead to do it this way. So we're using fish, as you all can see. So I'm adding some more. Yeah. So you just want to combine it together. You see, this is delicious. Yeah, this is beans porridge. We call it beans porridge. Yam and beans porridge. That's how we call it. See, very simple, guys. Quick to make and very, very delicious. See how soft the yams are. See, here, guys. Very quick and very, very delicious. Honestly, try this. You will love it. The fact that you made your sauce separately is even more better because everything will taste nice. It smells so good in here, guys. Honestly, guys, try this with your family. You will love, love, love it. Luchi's family. I hope you have learned one or two things from this kitchen today that you try with your family. If you try it with your family, let me know in that comment section. I'll make sure I leave all the ingredients used in the description so you can go ahead and use my ingredients if you wish or use whatever you wish to. Whatever vegetable you wish to use in this recipe. It feels so good to eat, you know, like home food in the diaspora. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm. Oh my goodness. Guys, this tastes so delicious. Please try this with your family. You will love it. Which is family. I love you all so much. Be loving, be kind, be merciful. God loves the merciful hearts. Ciao, ciao. See you all in my next video, guys. Love you all. Bye.